guys and welcome to my channel. This is my very first ever video so I guess I really can't say welcome back but I filmed an entire experience of me getting a hamster. Now I didn't go to the store and buy a hamster like you would probably expect. Um, my sister actually bought a hamster a few months ago and after discovering that she had far too many animals and moving into a smaller space, she realized that she really didn't have the time or the income to take care of him as well as she wished that he could be taken care of. She gave him a good life, however, she felt his life could be better and she felt guilty keeping him when she wasn't reaching the highest potential as a hamster or a pet owner. Um, therefore, she gave him to me and asked me to take care of him and I decided that a cool thing to do would be to vlog the entire experience of getting a new hamster with a cage and all of the things included and buying him all new things because I didn't like any of them. So I bought him, you know, new wheel, new cage, new everything, but I filmed all of it to see if I could upload it in my first ever video. So that's what this is going to be. I hope you enjoy. Good morning, guys. So today I have decided I'm going to do something new and I'm going to film the process of me renovating my new pet's house. Um, so yesterday I went to my sister's and she has a hamster. Also she has five dogs and fish and an infant. <laughs> so it's a lot. But um, And she asked me, she said, hey, I was wondering if you could take my hamster. He's becoming a lot and with how many pets I have you know it's getting kind of rough and so naturally I was like well of course you're busy you work full-time you're in college you have you know you babysit a kid um, and you have five dogs <laughs> and you have fish and now a hamster so of course I'm gonna take your hamster off your hands take good care of him and all that so I took this hamster and I'll show you him now. Henry's little spot. I built this yesterday out of a tub. Um, it's his new little hangout. His old hangout I already threw away because I just didn't like it. I felt like it, you know, was too small for him. He's a Syrian hamster. Um, so this is his food bowl. Yesterday I put carrots, apples, you know, sunflower seeds in here. And now he's a, uh, well now he's filling it up with fluff and a chew. And he's eating all the carrots and apples out of it. So, at least we know he likes carrots and apples. I just spot cleaned it. He uh, he had his uh, his slide hiding under here with poop on it. Uh, he pooped on it yesterday, so I just cleaned his slide up. He uh, his slide was originally set up right here, and then he uh, he took it. He moved it over here by his water bowl. Uh, he dumped out his water bowl. He's gonna be getting a water a proper water thing today, and. Uh, he uh, built himself a little nest, and if you look in the corner, he has a little green chew treat in his nest. Um, let's see what he's hiding in here. Oh, he's got lots of food and treats in there. Okay, so that's his little nest. He's got so much stuff hiding in there, like treats and oats and food. I think he has a carrot in here. Shouldn't be messing around. No, that's just an orange little chew. Um, but yeah, this is his little hangout right now. He's got his bird chew, which is just going to be his, his chew. That must be where he got the, the little orange chew from. Um, I like this. I'm going to let him keep this. I'm a little weary that the rope, but I like the chews on it, so I'm going to let him keep it. Gave him some of these blocks yesterday, which he seems to really like. You know, I like this thing. His igloo is fine. His food bowl is fine. Today, I'm going to go to PetSmart and um, get him a water thing, first of all, because he doesn't need to be drinking out of that bowl. He's just going to keep dumping it out. I'm going to get him a new cage, let's hope. Might have to stick with the tub for a little bit longer. It's only temporary, but I might have to. And a wheel, because if you notice, what is this missing? A wheel, because a wheel would only stick onto wire cages, and it was also too small. So I let him sleep one night without a wheel. Um... <laughs> I let him run around at his ball all morning and all of yesterday to make up for it though however he escaped from it this morning naughty Henry oh by the way his name's Henry um and so he's not in there right now 
he's taking a nap he's had a long night building a nest um but yeah so i'm gonna get him a new wheel a new water thing um a sand bath and uh hopefully a new cage today at the pet store this is what i was given for him i this is my own basket but i'm going to show what i have for him some hamster durable food that they were using some other food that they weren't using i don't know why uh these little blocks um these little treats and some sunflower seeds so right now he's just hoarding also gizmo loves him you just love him don't you yeah, he just loves him. He just sits here and watches him. He doesn't even try and eat him or growl or bark or anything. His fur doesn't stand up. He just kind of sits and watches and kind of points at him. He doesn't even want in. He just likes to look at him. He just watches him all day long. He just watches and smells. But he's used to mama getting new babies. Get new babies all the time. Um, yeah, so that's all we've got for now is his current setup, and I'll probably vlog a little bit in PetSmart, maybe, and <laughs> I'm probably going to get you some things when we're out, um, and we'll see what happens for things for him. <gasps> oh my god. There's furniture. There's a bathtub. I am so excited. Oh my god, look at this little agility tube. That's so cute. Most importantly, cages. I need a big ass cage for him. A big, big cage for him because he's gonna be living the life. Is that the only cage options I have? They have litter pans. They have this thing, which is so cute. A little dust bath thing, but I already bought one at a different store. Hmm. Cage cleaner. Bottles. I definitely need a bottle. Um. I wonder if they have one that just suction cups. Definitely need one that just suction cups. He doesn't eat hay, I don't think. What is this? Oh, this is so cute, but it doesn't have anything to stick to the wall with it, does it? I need something to stick my thing to the wall. It's a problem. I realized that I never showed you guys the cage that I got him, so this is his lovely cage. I got him a little sand bath right here, which he's been potty training in. I also got him a litter box, but he's not been potty training in the litter box. He just wants to go in the sand bath. So I might put some of the sand in the litter box and see if he goes in there. Um, if I do that, I have a ginormous, huge, takes up half of my bedroom cage for him. I got him the KT Extra Large Critter Home. I don't like buying KT, but it was the cheapest thing and your girl can't afford too expensive of stuff. I got him a eight and a half inch wheel that I need to spot clean because he poops in it every single day. Um, he had those blocks before. He's got the same shoes, the same hideout, but just some new, you know, stuff, especially the cage. I had to zip tie the sides right here because he likes to escape. Um, and now he's escaping through those walls. So I'm gonna have to zip tie more. He's still asleep, but yeah, so this is Henry's new home. I hope you guys like it. There's all his veg and um, I'll see about getting some shots of him when he's awake and running around. He's actually escaped from his cage multiple times. Um, most of the time it's at three in the morning. Once it was at nine o'clock at night, once it was the second we put him in his cage, he escaped about three or four times. And every single time I spot clean it, he tries to escape the second he wakes up because he doesn't like the smell. Um, he also escaped from his hamster ball. He opened the lid of his hamster ball. Some people say, you know, oh, just close the hamster ball better. No, I <laughs> will never accept defeat. And I think that he opened it himself and nobody can tell me otherwise. He's going back to bed now, but um, he is an escape artist to the point that my mother 
found him in the bathroom on the bathroom sponge and screamed her head off. Now, given it was hilarious, however, yes, Gizmo, however, it is dangerous for him to be running around um, because my mother likes to put mouse traps everywhere. So every mouse trap in my room has been removed and the space under my door for him to escape has also been covered. So he is now a Haven's bedroom roaming hamster who constantly escapes, even with the zip ties. Um, so that's an update on Henry and his cage setup, his beautiful wheel. I love this setup so very much and I think I'm going to keep it like this for a while. It's been like this for a few weeks and I think it should stay like this. But yeah, that's the update on Escapey over there. Escapey over there taking a nap so he has enough rest for his next escape, I'm sure. Maybe he's escaping through this thing, it's awfully bent. Okay guys, so this is another update. This is the cage that I got him. It is the KT Extra Large Critter Home. He had his second floor privileges taken away because he kept escaping, but he still escapes anyways. Um, I have done a lot of um, research and KT apparently is not good to keep hamsters in. Like this is a perfectly good, large, super big cage. You know, it says big as a freaking box, which I can't even get into frame. But KT apparently uh, makes a lot of critter trails that are not good. Yeah, see what KT critter trail. Apparently those are not good for hamsters. And in fact, no hamsters are even um, advertised on this at all you know and that's just kind of sad because this is a Syrian hamster cage so KT apparently is responsible for a lot of the um, abuse and neglect that hamsters go through according to some of the hamster channels that I've been watching which I will link in the description but apparently KT is responsible or at least enabling a lot of neglect for hamsters which makes me very upset however your girl's on a budget and this was the cheapest cage because it was on sale. So this is the one I had to get, but I do not recommend. Also because my hamster keeps escaping through the bars. Do not recommend, however, that's the one I got. Hi, Henry. Hi, Henry. Hi, baby. Henry, Henry, Mila, Henry, Henry, Mila, Henry. He will never know his name. He's so cute! Oh, say hello, buddy. Say hello. He's super friendly. He's super great with being held. He's a little squirmy. He's never tried to bite or nip or anything like that. He is super duper social, but he likes to sleep in most of the night. And Haven has an, or most of the day, and he likes to wake up at night, but Haven has an early bedtime. Oh, so that doesn't work very well, huh, buddy? You ready to go back to bed? You ready to go back to bed? Yeah, you may go back to bed. Alright guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I know the fancy setup is gone. Um, it's still there. I just did not have time to sort up that camera. Your girl is hungry and is going to go eat some lunch. And I hope you all enjoyed seeing my adventure of owning a hamster. I'm sure that many updates will come. And if you want, you can follow my socials. They will be linked down below where I will probably be posting a lot more about my pets. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe and give me some support because this is my first ever video and I would love some support. And I will see you all next time. You want to be in your video? You do? You do? Okay, goodbye. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Can you see my face? Probably not. That's what we're finding out. Ugh.